Hi, I'm Pascal Lee. I'm a planetary scientist at the Mars Institute and at the SETI Institute. I'm also based at NASA Ames Research Center in California. Uh, welcome to the Help Mars Project. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of uh, what we're going to be uh, doing this summer here at Helton. Uh, in our science program, we're going to be focusing on understanding how this crater formed. Uh, how old it is exactly, we'll be uh, redating it in detail to understand exactly when it formed, but also we'll try to understand what hit this place. What was the nature and composition of the object that impacted this site approximately 39 million years ago. Was it an asteroid? Was it a comet? And if it was an asteroid, what kind? Was it metal rich or, or rock rich? So uh, by collecting rock samples and analyzing them in detail, we, we hope to, to get the answer to this, uh, to this puzzling question. That's our science program. Uh, we also have a, a pretty substantial research program in the area of exploration. How are we going to explore the future? Uh, we head out to the field, usually with our ATVs. These are our workhorses. We envision that astronauts one day might actually uh, be riding some form of ATV as well uh, at the surface of the Moon or Mars. Uh, this is my little uh, canine unit uh, so that I can introduce you to uh, this K-10 robot. This is the name of this robot, the K-10. Uh, but before I get to its role, I want to talk to you about our research program here with, uh, with NASA and with Hamilton Sunstrand. Uh, NASA has been looking at uh, how to develop pressurized vehicles for the exploration of the Moon or Mars that would allow astronauts to then explore the surfaces of these worlds easily, safely, and cleanly by keeping the dust outside the vehicles at all times. And so, with Hamilton Sunstrand, uh, the spacesuit maker of the U.S. space program, we've been uh, investigating how to design new suit ports that will allow these astronauts to exit their vehicle quickly uh, and go explore the surface of the Moon, Mars, or even an asteroid. Uh, once this uh, human exploration has been conducted, uh, the role of the K-10 rover that we are exploring this year or investigating this year is to try to understand how to use a robotic rover to follow up behind humans. Usually, uh, uh, robots are thought of as precursors or scouts to humans, and that's, of course, a role that they will continue to play. But uh, uh, in this particular investigation that we're conducting this year, we're trying to understand better how we might use robots to follow up on humans, to follow behind humans. And this is an experiment that's led by uh, Dr. Terry Fong at, uh, and his team at NASA Ames Research Center. Uh, out in the crater, behind you, far away, uh, we have another experiment that's important. Uh, it's a robotic drilling experiment. We're trying to design a robotic drill that will be able to, on its own, drill into the subsurface of the Moon or Mars to look for life, to look for water ice. Uh, and uh, this has to be done with very little power because we might have to rely only on solar power to do this. And so this incredible uh, experiment in uh, robotic drilling is, is led by Dr. Brian Glass of NASA Ames and, and his team as well. Uh, we also have a number of experiments that are conducted not by NASA but by the Canadian Space Agency, the other major space agency that is uh, conducting research here at the Houghton Mars Project. Uh, first of all, Dr. Alain Bernstein of the Canadian Space Agency has been the PI of the greenhouse experiment uh, that we have over there. Uh, the goal of the experiment is to really uh, learn how to operate a greenhouse autonomously without the intervention of humans. Humans might be just remotely monitoring what's going on in this greenhouse. Uh, and the greenhouse might be growing plants, but also participating in a closed life support system for future human explorers, either in deep space uh, or on the Moon or Mars. Uh, and finally, we have a research experiment also by Dr. Perry Johnson-Green of the Canadian Space Agency. Uh, Perry is looking for plants that are able to survive in this type of extreme environment of the Arctic so that we can understand better uh, the biology of these, of these um, life forms uh, in hopes of inferring characteristics of, of life forms that we might, we might find on other planets.
Go back on the ATV. Good girl.